Who's there? Why are you following me? Uh, hello. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah! Don't sit on me. I'm not gonna sit on you. <laughs> I'll sit on your lap. Alright, or sit up there. I'll sit on your lap. Alright. Uh, uh, or sit. Uh, Fish. Please don't do that. It's uncomfortable. Um, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, Good everyone. everyone. And welcome. Rosie's uh, just uh, getting ready for bed, and we thought, hey, we got a couple of packages, so we're going to open them. So uh, first up, we actually got... Franks. Uh, uh, we got a package from Frank. Just a little one this time. One thing for me and one thing for him, and they're both movies. I, I was just going to say that, yes. So just a little one this time. There was uh, one item in particular um, he really wanted to send my way ASAP. And he also had something for Rosie that he wanted to send along with it. So we're going to check it out today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Why do you always have to say that? So annoying. Let's not waste any Again. time. Let's uh, get right into it here. Again. <laughs> we just have a priority mail o uh, mailer here, so it just opens up with a rip. Ta-da! All right, so let's see what we got here. So, give me wide first. All right, I think this one is for you. What is it? Looney Tunes Rabbit's Run original movie. Cool. With the new Bugs... Oh my god, I've seen that episode. It's so Have funny. you? Cool. I think I've seen this one. Yeah? Yeah. I don't think I've seen it. Okay. Then. Cool. We'll have to check it out. Let me see. Looks really cool. Rabbit's Run original movie. Very cool. And uh, with with the slipcover, too. Very uh, very nice. It's always good to... Uh, to get there. Just, just wait. You'll see oh, it like in a minute. Here. Cool. Very, <laughs> very cool. Thanks. Uh, <coughs> Thanks very much, Frank. I'm sure we will enjoy that. <coughs> All right. Yes, okay. She's looking at the sound being recorded there. Uh, okay, that's enough, Rose. You're going to make yourself cough more. All right. I know. Okay, next up, this is the one uh, This is the one that Frank was sending to me. And uh, this is this is a movie that that I've been waiting a very very long time to get some kind of DVD release. We have Twice Upon a Time. Yeah, this has been something of a, a rarity for many, many years. Uh, it's uh, basically an animated film for grown-ups, uh, executive produced by uh, George Lucas. And anyone familiar with stuff like South Park will be familiar with kind of the style of animation in it. It's actually all done with uh, paper cutouts and stuff like that. And um, But uh, nowadays, of course, they do it paper cutouts, but on computer which makes it a lot easier. This was done the old-fashioned way, done, you know, a frame at a time, stop up. motion. Yes. Um, the funniest heroes you'll ever meet. They came, they saw, they screwed up. Yes. But uh, I remember seeing this actually on pay TV back in the early 80s, and I always thought it was really funny, and I've wanted to see it again for ages. There's been, like, a really crummy quality version of it on YouTube. <laughs> There's a couple of different <laughs> cuts of it as well. Um, there's like a sort of an uncut version which aired on HBO, which was the version that I saw, the pay TV version. And then there was sort of a more censored, uh, cut down. Uh, what is Twice Upon PG, a Time? PG version. Uh, well, I'll read the, the back no, here. No, 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 it's okay. I don't want to waste our time. That's okay. We've got plenty of time. Uh, so it's George, George Lucas executive produces the animated delight Twice Upon a Time for directors John Cordy and Charles Swenson. In its once-upon-a-time world, our heroes are Ralph, the all-purpose animal, and his constant companion Mumford, who only talks in sound effects. Their mission is nothing short of saving the cosmos from the dastardly plot of Synonymous Botch, who wants to unleash a barrage of nightmare bombs to ensure non-stop bad dreams. They cross paths with a colorful army of characters, including their FGM, a fairy godmother from the, bo from the Bronx. What does FGM mean? <coughs> fairy godmother. The, mus the muscle-bound and pea-brained Rod Rescue Man and Scuzzbopper, 
botches scheming court jester and scream writer. Yeah, basically he run, um, the the bad guy in this runs the nightmare factory, which is where nightmares are manufactured for people's dreams. Uh, the off the wall characters and story are portrayed with an innovative animation technique, lumage, which gives depth, texture, and translucent color to every scene. Music from the mic from Michael McDonald and Bruce Hornsby accompanies the action, full of unexpected delights. <laughs> twice upon a time is a one of a kind fantasy. <laughs> Hailed by critic Leonard Malton as a real treat. Yeah. So special features. I'm dual, sorry, Dad. That's okay. Dual. I just really had to cough. That, that's fine. If you got a cough, you got a cough. Special features: dual audio tracks. Oh, this is cool. It has the theatrical PG audio track and the unrated family friend family friendly director's audio track, and a commentary track with director John Cordy and collaborators John Baker, Harley Jessup, Brian Narell, Will second. Noble, Henry Sel Selick, and Carl Willett. That's cool. I didn't actually know there was going to be extras on this, but this is um, so. This is really great to finally see this available on oh, DVD. Yeah. It's only available uh, from Warner Archive, so you can only get it either through Warner Archive or through Amazon.com. Um, so very, very good stuff. Thank you very, very much, Frank. I'm really excited about this one, and as you know, I know you knew that I was excited about it, and that's why you wanted to send it to me so fast. And uh, yeah, so we're going to enjoy checking that one out. Uh, on the Looney Tunes Rabbit's Run here, we uh, we don't have any uh, bonus features, but we do have some bonus cartoons. We got Best Friends, Coyote Falls, Fur of Flying, Rabid Rider, and I Taught I Taught a Putty Tat. So there you go, very cool stuff. So that's that's it. That's the whole package, all two things. So just a short one this time, but uh, as always, a couple of awesome additions to the collection courtesy of longtime viewer and YouTuber, it's Frank. So, thank you very much, Frank. Really appreciate it. And um, Hmm? Yes. And a big thanks to my Patreon contributors as well, especially uh, Kyle Pellegree and Get Your Gorgeous On, run by Michelle O'Toole and Simon Hedger, um, my two highest-level sponsors. So, thank you very much, guys. Really appreciate it. the other thing? And uh, we'll see you next time. What? Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, we'll do that next time. All right? Anyway, that is it from us to you for now. So until Did next time, just wait. Thanks for watching, and sayonara. to say that. It's Rose, so weird. Rose, because that's the way I do the show. I do the intro, and you've seen the episodes. I do the intro. Why do you do it every single one, though? Because that's the format of the show. You know, they're watching that. Right well, now. I can cut this part out. <laughs> it's the magic of editing. So I do the intro, and then there's the titles, mm -hmm. and then we do the main thing. Uh, Remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's the little thing before the titles. Okay. So I say, The Multimedia Chronicles, and then it's the title, The Multimedia Chronicles. It'll be quiet for a sec. Alright. <clears throat> Blah! <laughs> Look, it's so <laughs> yes. dark and high. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie's watching the sound. And look at you laughing, that's what it looks like. Ha 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 ha! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Alright, can, so can we do the thing now? Yes, yes, we can. Alright. Yes, yes, we can. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, I'm just whispering in the cuff a little bit. Yes. Okay, ready? Yep. Alright.